Brittley, I want to go to to baseball for a moment. They talk about spin rate. Now, I've seen it done where they actually measure the spinners for spin rate, which you can understand. But in baseball, the more the ball spins, and I, and I was watching when you were talking about uh, getting that backspin on it, and they talk about the more spin you can put on it as a fast bowler, the quicker your delivery will be and the more it will move. Is, is that something that today's fast bowler worries about or even thinks about? Um, because if that's true, then surely all the fast bowlers uh, will be trying to copy baseball pitches and getting that spin yeah. back on it so that, you know, it, it really does start going in the air and you get a bit quicker. Well, 100%. And that's that's where we can learn off baseball and, and, and vice versa because the thing is, to get that snap, it's a snap of the wrist. So that's different to doing that, like using your 15 degrees, bowling with a bent arm or throwing the ball. So what is legal is having a really good wrist position, a very, you know, flexible wrist from doing that. And there's a lot of different stretches that you can do to get that wrist nice and flexible. Get that ball fizzing out behind. That's the key. And the more that you can get the revs on the ball, the balls will be bowled upright, which will mean more aerodynamic, getting straight through the air, cutting through the air quicker, which means a quicker ball. Well, I watched, uh, having been on New Zealand's tour of Pakistan in January, uh, Pakistan, of course, have a lot of 150 bowlers, and that is a common trait amongst their fast bowlers, is that at the crease, the whippage snap. of the wrist, yep. the real snap, and that gives you the extra pace. But then Zahi was talking about locking the wrist. wrist. So I, I guess, you know, how do you, as a fast bowler, train yourself to get that snap because you know it's easy to think the snap has to be at the elbow so th there's a really good uh, drill that the boys and girls can do at home and just get around about five meters away from your friend and just work on get your arms support your arm and just snap just throw the ball let the other person get it and then what i used to do before i'd bowl i would actually do that and work on get that seam position nice and straight if it comes out wobbling keep working on it move your fingers around what feels natural. Now, because I held the ball like that, doesn't mean you have to move these fingers around, but work on that snap. And that's just all wrist. There's no elbow involved. It's just a snap. It's a really good uh, way to improve that pace.